The honeymoon effect. Are you familiar with the term the honeymoon effect? What happened after the so-called honeymoon? Why it should be only a moon time and not a lifetime? People always lost interest in new objects once they owned them, such as cloths, devices, and even new relationships. The excitement and the trails are wearing off and fading away. Gradually, soonest we acquire them. Many people get confused about such conflicting feelings, but the reality seems to be that the excitement was about the pursuit and the chasing of those objects rather than the objects themselves. People reportedly own three or more pairs or everything which they never use. Being conscious and aware about these facts helps tremendously to curb one's enthusiasm and to avoid sudden rush of thoughts and emotions. As highlighted earlier, this sounds easy and simple to do, and yet people always ended up doing it. The choice is yours: breaking free or falling into a loop. So many things seems easy to do or looks like easy to avoid, but the only way to know that you are free from anything is when you are able to stop it or to change it at any given moment and under any circumstances. Addiction is not only about substances like alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes, but it extends to all sort of abuse and excess of use of ordinary objects and routines such as media sets. Shopping, sleeping, eating, worrying, overthinking, and mind chattering. So, how you can tell if you are not hooked? How do you see that you are not already in a trap? How you can see that you are not inside a loop? It's obvious. Once you can break free without any struggle and resistance, you are not tied up and free. This notion sounds easy to reach, and yet it's difficult to put into practice and to maintain. Most addictions start fun, simple, and easy to control, but gradually people became hooked and fall into a trap where it became difficult to break free from attachment and identification. No matter how sweet and fun it looks like, but it still deprives the person from own well and freedom. Hooked people will always give priority and importance to wishes and desires over the demands and needs of their family, society, and their well-being. So, how to avoid falling into such traps? How to tell if you are not already caught by a net or you are not already hooked? An ancient custom in some parts of India encourages people to woke up and leave the bed without attachments and dependency on anything to start the day. Nothing should prevent you from getting out of bed in the morning. Not breakfast, not particular clothing, not favorite toys, and not any lucky and charming objects. This is how you can own independence and confidence. Some people manage to stay clear over a certain period of time, only but again they come back to their old habits over and over until this becomes seasonal, periodical, monthly, weekly, daily, and then hourly. This is a loop, an endless loop, no matter how short or medium it is. But at the end, it starts all over again at any given moment and under any given circumstances. What if you can break free completely and thoroughly from all this programming and conditioning? What if you can wipe out definitely all these notions, habits, customs, and the so-called fashion, modernization, conformity without any conflicts, struggles, and divisions? What about a mind free from all this and beyond the limits of ideas? Thoughts, memories, which were imprinted on the brain and designed by those in power, by authorities and decision makers. How you can find out the truth and reality of the world you are living in when you see it through the eyes and the ideas of others who are controlling the power and the well of people. So it's time for establishing new points of reference.